What is up everybody and welcome to another video and in today's video um, as you could probably read by the title We are going to be installing a custom skin into War Thunder um, War Thunder is a game that is World War II uh, Tanks and planes and we believe uh, ships in the future uh, I can't say near future because I have no clue and I'm not on the development team at all um but anyway, so I have decided to uh, use a tiger skin that I found, this one here in particular. And um, if you want to find skins to put on to your War Thunder, just go to live.warthunder.com and there's a camouflages section and then you just type in a hashtag of the vehicle that you want a skin for, find it, press on it, download it, and you are good. Now, whilst that is downloading, um, we can just close out of this. Uh, there's not really much information here, except there's maybe a picture. Um, and yeah, so big picture of the tank that we just got. Uh, now what we want to do is we actually want to get a new window uh, for our um, Windows Explorer, as it is called, I believe. And we want to go to local disk, program files, scroll all the way down until you find Steam. Once you find Steam, click on it, and then move around until you see Steam apps. Um, I don't know where that will be on yours. It'll just be, it should be in the main Steam folder. If it's not, you've done something wrong. Um, forgot to mention, you do actually need the game downloaded for this. And then you need to go to common after you've been to Steam apps. And you need to scroll around down, it should be near the bottom because it starts with a W. And you'll want to find War Thunder. And once you've found War Thunder, you should see that in the files, there is actually a user skins folder. And as you can see, mine isn't quite empty as of right now because, yeah, um, I've had quite a few uh, skins that I've used in the past, for instance, with my Hurricanes and my Spitfires. Um, and also the tiger. Uh, so what we're going to do is you will need WinRAR or something that can unzip the um, RAR file or zip file that you've downloaded and a lot of the time uh, you can just ignore the file extensions there. A lot of the time you just get it like this uh, which is completely normal uh, and basically if I go into here you can see that I have the exact same files all the way here too. So what you can do is you can just um, either just leave it like that or just copy and paste the name here. I'm pretty sure there's a simpler way to do this, but this is how I like to do it. And then create a new folder and just name it a template of the destination. Aha. Template. Oh, wait, never mind. Whoops, it's messed up. You can delete that. Just make a new one and call it Tiger Skin. Uh, what was the one called? Um, it Cookie. I'll just call it It Cookie. Uh, so Tiger Skin. Rename It Cookie. There. When we hit Enter, we can now minimize that if needed. And then all we do is we copy and paste this into here and it'll do a couple of nifty things. And what you want to do is you want to go to Steam and open up War Thunder. You can do that this, the quick way or the long way. Whoops, that does not need to be there. Uh, library um, and just play Warframe, uh, uh, War Thunder, my, my bad, sorry. And then just hit play and yes, the update just came out and um, it's pretty fun right now. All right, now that we're in game, you can see that I already have a skin and the flares are intense, as I might say. Um, I already have a skin on my tiger and uh, there's no problem with that. All you have to do is you have to go to customization and you have to change it to whatever you name that folder. So I'm just going to go to the it cookie and there we have it. There is the uh, tiger skin that we downloaded. Um, it seems to be pretty detailed, camouflage, uh, we don't need those. Um, now I'm going to test it uh, in a world just to see if it's decent, I guess I could say. 
Uh, time of day, clear and everything. Yep, okay. We're just joining a game. I absolutely love these loading screens in this game. Absolutely phenomenal. Um, so yeah, as you can see, it worked. And um, I believe as of right now, uh, others cannot actually see your skin. Um, but I believe in the future, they, they have mentioned that they will implement it so that others will be able to see your skin. Um, and yeah, wow, absolutely love this thing. It's an absolute beast of a tank. Um, except, so oh. I just got a message. Yeah, I'm not sure if that was a knockout. Yes, it was. And we will fire upon that. Oh. Seems I got that thing too, and now let's try a long shot at the KV2, and I believe it's ammo rack is somewhere there. Did that get it? No, it is it is not dead. We will try to redirect our aim to over there. And fire. And it's on fire. That was good. Um, so yeah, all the textures and the wheels are working. This is actually a very nice skin. Um, pretty well made. I'm gonna try a hip fire shot. Did I hit? Nope, missed. And as we reload and charge the target, and we got a hit, and it was taken out. Now there should be a T34 over there, yep. Yeah. And it's actually a moving target, and I'm going to be moving too. And it turned just as I shot. It's pretty annoying. Can you do? Okay. So as you guys probably know, a tiger's weakness. Oh, man, that was that was close. Just went over it a bit. All right. So I'm going to try to lead a bit. Oops, me here. And it went over again. My aim is terrible in this thing. And missed. Too far ahead. Reload. Reload. And out of all places we could hit, we miss. Um, so yeah, as you can see, uh, the skin is working. It's also getting dirt on it, which is good and I did the exact same thing with a really similar hit um, I, I don't know if there's actually a place where we can dust out dirt on this but uh, if there is I will find it I hope okay we finally hit the guy that was nice shot always gets them. Uh, my apologies if you can hear the lightning in the background. It is currently thundering where I am. Um, so yeah, as you can see, there is dirt on these and they are fully functional. Absolutely. It's actually a really, really nice skin. I'm going to keep this. Um, oh. That's a big ditch. Hmm. This turret rotation is really bad. Oh well, thank you for watching everybody, and just like, I need to end this in the best way possible, and see ya in the next one.